Good morning, YouTube. How are we all doing? Been a while, guys. Give me a chance to get over here and pop up my chat and stuff like that. Because I honestly don't remember how to do all this stuff. Should be broadcasting. Uh, but give me a minute. Find my chat. Oh, let me go like this. This will work. There we go. Yeah, I want it to be a live chat. There we go. And it'll pop up a chat. All right. Okay. It's just that divider between good and bad. I am more than okay for the present. You will win. We have your back. There's my chat. Let's see what happens. Hey, Slippery. How's it going, buddy? Been a while. Hopefully I'm broadcasting. Yep, looks like it is. Yeah, look, guess who wants to be back on? Look who just jumped up here. It's Henry. There he is. The Henry dog. Came for a visit. How are things in the UK, buddy? Hmm. Oh, well, that's different. That the Affordable Care Act is invalid as open enrollment closes today. But Obama exchanges are still open for business. So this is likely to go to the Supreme Court. Oh, cool. J and C. Hi, guys. Sorry I missed your one with your daughters. It looked like that probably was a fun one. Yeah, I think I can safe to do it on the weekends now. I still can't do it at work. They've got me locked down at work pretty tight. I can't even take a cell phone or a uh, iPad into the building anymore. Yep. Let me turn that TV down if I can find the... Hang on just a second, guys. I love me some Fox and Friends, but I don't need to hear it while I'm trying to broadcast. So are those two little ones, those little precious things, are they waiting for the big fat guy to come down the chimney? Mine are all growing up. I sure miss those days. I'm still waiting to see you guys go ice fishing in bikinis. <laughs> I bet it would get a lot of views. <laughs> oh. <coughs> I remember my youngest one, when she was 12, the wife took her shopping. And she, she made a mistake of asking her, you don't believe in Santa Claus anymore, do you? She says, well, I don't now. <laughs> so where's the big event next week slippery whereabouts in the uk Ha <laughs> 
Manic, how you doing, my friend? Well, sorry, I haven't been able to get on. Uh, weekends have been kind of busy for me. And weekdays, I'm, I don't even have the ability to get on for more than 30 or 40 minutes a day, max. Oh, cool. Monday? Let's see, I'm trying to think. Only thing I, you're going to be in the morning or the afternoon? Because I've got an exam to give in the morning, and then I don't have anything until we go on our Christmas break on the 20th. <laughs> What's up, Henry? <laughs> Afternoon. Oh, good. I have to keep an eye out for that one. Yeah, that's okay, man. Where's your big event going to be? Some of my friends. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Magic Mike from Philly and Sean from Boston. I don't know who else. <laughs> imagine. Yeah, for sure. You've probably been in there with the hub with Roger and Kim. But since you're down under, you probably, did you get to go see Mars and Kaz? I bet that'd be a hoot of a visit. Sparky. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I got a little bit of a train set up to video later today i'm gonna put it up for all my train buddies to watch <coughs> well, this <coughs> camera's working better today than it was yesterday when I did that uh, unboxing. Oh, cool. Well, I've almost got my layout where I want it. I need a couple more sections of track. And then I got to figure out if and where I can put a uh, automatic gate crossing. So it's, it's getting there. The uh, roundhouse, <laughs> if you've got an end gauge, I imagine they make it an HO, but I haven't checked. That uh, Kato or Kato, however you want to say it, that roundhouse is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Way better than anything else I've researched. And it works as advertised. Yeah, trains are fun. The only difference between men and boys is the price of my toys. Yeah, I had Lionel when I was growing up, but... I don't have much room. I've got an eight, eight foot by four foot table and a six foot by three foot table put together in an L shape. And that's all the more room I have. So N-Gage works great. Just can't keep the little boogers on the track. They keep wanting to jump off. Kind of like getting a fish on the line and then it wants to jump off. <laughs> Now, I used to do I used to do kites, but as soon as the uh, <coughs> FAA got, got involved in kite flying, I stopped doing kites. I 
No, this is a condition my dad had, and thank God he passed it down to me. I'll have this cough probably for the rest of my life. It gets bad in the winter, it goes away in the summer, and then it comes back in the winter when it gets cold. <clears throat> this is how we used to find my dad when we'd go shopping and he'd get lost in the store. Or we would lose him. We'd just stand still for about three or four minutes, wait for dad to cough and go, oh, he's over there. So I got stuck with it. This is friggin' ridiculous. Our army. There you are. Charging one of our SEALs with murder because he took out a known bomber that had killed several people, but the bomber's name wasn't on the list yet of people that were wanted. Give me a break. Yeah, funny but not funny. It's, uh, hey, that's life. It's, you got to... Go with the hand you're dealt. But yeah, every winter I go through this. And the funny thing is, once I get up in front of students and I start teaching, I hardly cough at all. And then as soon as I relax and rest or sit down, it starts bothering me. I definitely can't go fishing because all the fish will be scared away. Well, hell, my face will scare them away if they take a peek through the water. That's true. He needs his neck. He doesn't need to be put in jail or even even think of trying to court martial him. It's ridiculous. But there's two sides of boats. Every story, I guess. So all we've heard so far is his side. But still, uh, all his men back him up. You you would not believe how crazy war is. You've got <laughs> what I used to fly attack aircraft. And you would find a target and you would have to wait to call back to ask permission to destroy the target, knowing the target just killed Americans. But you'd have to call back and ask for permission to engage the target. It's ridiculous. Oh, God, Joe Biden's back in the news. Oh. <sighs> So are your girls getting fishing poles for Christmas? <laughs> yeah, it's very ticklish. I'm here to tell you, buddy. <laughs> and it gets you right there. Not fun at all. Well, good. Thank you for your service. Thank them for their service because... I tell you what, today's military has a lot harder than I had it. I was in for 23 years, and these guys, I've, some of them, they'll go down range for 18 months, come home, spend three months at home, and then the army will put them in another unit that's going down range right then and there. It's it's ridiculous. <laughs> hey, fishing's fun. I can't wait till I turn 65 and I don't need a fishing license anymore in this state. I get to save a whole 15 bucks a year. Commercials. Terrible. Uh, 
Oh, man. I hope I never have that happen, but I'm glad you're not in it anymore. Wow, that's nice. It's not enough to make me move to Wisconsin. Sorry. You've got all that white stuff that comes down out of the sky. I don't like it. I used to love it. I don't like it anymore. Henry, what you doing down there, buddy? Hey, come here. Come see Daddy. No? Come here. Come here, buddy. Ah, you're a finicky dog. <laughs> what a dog. Now, you guys got the best cheese in the world, right, in Wisconsin? Aren't you the dairy state? I like me some cheese, I'll tell you that. I really don't know if I could pick my favorite cheese. I like Gouda. That's for sure. I like Swiss. Not too big on hogshead cheese, though. That's uh, not something I'm going to touch. Kind of the dairy state. <laughs> How are the Vikings doing? I don't watch NFL since uh, I haven't watched it in two years. I did watch the Super Bowl because that's kind of a, a big thing. But you know, NFL's kind of gone the way of baseball with me. I don't watch it all year long, and then when it gets to the playoffs or the Super Bowl, I might watch it. I can't tell you who's been doing good and who's been doing bad this year. I haven't been able to do that for two years. Oh, well, you took cheese to Wisconsin, not from it? Okay, that's cool. No, I sure haven't. I'll have to try that one out. It's called Toy Man? Vikings are sucking? Sorry. I, I'll tell you a little story. Do you remember? Well, you weren't alive, probably. Uh, what year was that? I want to say it was like 68 or 69. When the Vikings were going to meet the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, and uh, I want the Vikings, my brother says, "No, no, that's my team. You, you're stuck with the Chiefs, and you have to bet." I said, "Okay, we'll bet fifty bucks," and the Chiefs beat them. <laughs> oh crap! Len Dawson came out and just hammered them. <laughs> but we still call them the Purple People Eaters. Poor Henry. Come here. Come on. Come on. Oh, well. Henry and the dogs are missing their mama. She's down in Pensacola shopping with my daughters. 2448 Toy Man. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, I'm hoping, I'm hoping uh, just after Christmas to do a unveiling of one of the engines I got. So I'll, I'll save that until I actually get it. But it, it took me years to find one. It's a nice engine. I hope it can have a lot of trains around the layout because they'll, they'll let spread out a little bit since the last time I filmed it. And I'm behind on my videos. I've added a lot to it, so I'm probably going to have to do a big video showing all the changes real quick. Hey, Ed, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, I'm home this weekend and free, but I still can't get on it. Can't, can't get on at work at all. Oh, really? Does his own box cars? Cool. Yeah, I know some people that buy box cars and then they put like decals on them, but I've never known anybody to paint their own. That's got to be cool. What gauge does he have, Manic? Is it N gauge, HO, or O gauge? Those are the three that I know the most. Wow. 
that's a big investment. I hope he has insurance because I know what my locos cost me. And if he's got 50 of them, buddy, <laughs> he's got tens of thousands of dollars invested. And that all depends upon the loco and the size. Some of those Lionel locos, I was looking at prices on them, they're over $1,400. Wow. Yeah, graffiti and rust. Okay, so he, what he does is he weathers them. And you know, I've got a couple of graffiti cars, but I didn't do them. I bought them. Okay, I will definitely do that. Two, two, four, eight, toy man. You're gonna have to try that. <laughs> so, Ed, what you been flying, buddy? Anything? The Batman's up. I didn't know you had gotten it up. I haven't been watching much lately. <laughs> yeah, I'm so far behind on filming stuff here. I took all my drones and put the batteries down to storage power. Because on the days when it's clear outside, it's so dang cold, I can't hold the remotes in my hand. So... Trains are going to be my winter project, and uh, drones will be my summer and fall and spring projects, I guess. Yeah, I'll definitely check him out. Let's see. I don't think I have any. Yeah, I do have some paper. Hang on a second. I've got a sectional I can write that number down on. 2248 Toy Man. Okay. Got it. Because I know I won't remember it. And every time I try to go back and review the chat, which I'm back in top chat again. Every time I try to go and review the chat by watching a video, it doesn't come up. What kind of art, Manic? Oils or... My puppy's revolting. He doesn't want to be held today. And I got on early today. I'm usually just getting up. I must have woke up early. Okay, Jane Acrylic, okay. Nice. Nice. I'm assuming like landscapes, I hope. Or portraits, even. I've never much been into fruit. Oh, cool. Camro, hey. How's Japan?
Hey, if you if you watch my uh, video on the Kato uh, turntable, I wasn't trying to dish the Japanese, but when they send stuff to the United States, they really ought to print it in English. Luckily, the pictures do a real good job. I'm one of those guys who can like pictures. <coughs> oh, Henry, what's the matter? What's the matter, buddy? Huh? Hang on. What's wrong? What's wrong? Here's my buddy. Here's my buddy, Henry. There we go. Look at that. Hi, buddy. How are you? Huh? Hmm? Are you playing nice with the other puppies? Okay. You want to stay? No? You can stay if you want. <laughs> yeah, no fruit. No fruit. I'm still trying to find a way to, well, you can see part of my track back there against the wall. I know they uh, sell scenery kits, you know, kind of like they used to use in the movies where they would do a backdrop. <coughs> I'm going to try and put a backdrop against that wall. So at least ways it looks a little different when the trains go around it. But as far as ballasting and all that, I'm not doing doing all that. I'll build some buildings or something, but I'm not going through the trouble of ballasting the whole thing, especially since it's on folding tables. I don't think that would work out too good. What's the matter, Henry? Huh? What's the matter? Okay. There we go. Good puppy. Good boy. Good boy. Don't, don't knock my cord off. There you go. Right there. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, that's why I, I was just telling folks. I've taken all my drone batteries and taken them down to storage voltage. Because on the days when I could fly, it's so cold, I can't hold the controller. So trains will be my hobby for the winter. Yeah, they they think a lot of people that don't have content are, uh, what do they call them, trolls. <coughs> I just hope they don't take your channel away, buddy, because I, I don't know what the purge is looking at. <coughs> <coughs> it might be content. I don't know. I haven't lost any subscribers yet in the purge, but I've heard some stories where people have lost four and 500. Oops. Well, I took care of that. <laughs> I don't know why he's bucking, but 500. Oh, boy. I think I'm at 547. I don't know. I don't check that often. But yeah, I was looking at uh, Drone Worship. Uh, he did a video yesterday about how this is the third time he's been over 8,000 subscribers and they took like four or five hundred away from them yeah i understand head uh. <coughs> Yeah, 500 in two months. That's excellent. But you go to a lot of live streams, man. It can people see you, and then they add you to their list. That's why I kept trying to get some of my friends to understand. If you don't go into these live streams and let people know you're there, what do you expect them to do? Just search for you and automatically find you? It's not going to happen. Well, I appreciate that, but I'll bet the hub helped you a lot, too. 
And I don't know. I think I've seen you in, in Pusa Studio. Uh, I know. <coughs> excuse me. Every once in a while, I'll get a couple of people to just leave me a note and say, saw you in Pusa Studio, decided to come check you out. So there's a lot of people out there helping. I'm just wondering if that's one of the things uh, YouTube is going to crack down on because they were talking about sub for sub, but we don't do sub for sub necessarily. We talk, we go back and forth, and, you know, it's not just a place to to go and get subs. It's a place to go and meet friends. And uh, hopefully they're going to understand that. Of course, uh, Drone Worship Dan had the point yesterday that it would sure be nice if somebody came out and gave YouTube some competition. There's, there's got to be somebody out there smart enough to run a system similar to this and run it more fairly than this one's run. Oop, they're probably listening. Yeah, I'll probably get cut out tomorrow. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, I haven't lost any in a while. Like I said, there's there's no telling what's going to happen when they start taking a close look. And knowing them, they'll probably use some algorithm. It doesn't, you know, it's just a computer. It has no idea, you know, that, hey, this guy doesn't have any content. But look at this. He goes into all these other people's sites and chats and talks and whatnot. It's just going to say, well, oh, ain't got no content. We're getting rid of you. No, no, not 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 real anxious to find out what's going to happen either. Hey happens it happens i guess there's always other places i don't have a facebook <coughs> so <laughs> you get around manic uh, i didn't know there was a train hub Hey, has anybody seen Mike Thomas? That guy used to do live feeds like at least twice, maybe three times a week, and I have not seen him do anything in a while, and I know I'm still subbed because I went in and checked the other day. I hope he's okay. But I have not seen him do a post of any kind for a long time, and he's got a hell of a train layout, let me tell you, buddy. He has got a huge... Layout right there in his living room, too. My wife banished me to the back bedroom, so that's the spare bedroom is my game room, so that's where uh, my train got put up. Hey, drone pool, what's up then? Yeah, I can't get out at work anymore, drone pool, for a while. I'm hoping after Christmas, maybe it'll let up, but uh, right now I can't even take a cell phone or an iPad into the building I got sent to work in. Uh, once I get in there, I've got access, but only to government sites. I can't get anywhere non-government. It's all secure. Dang, I forgot to put my shirt on. It's right back here, right there, underneath the elephant's head and the Chewbacca head. I forgot to put it on this morning. <laughs> yeah, I told Sean to tell everybody that you know it wasn't illness. It's I came to work one day and they said, "Hey, we need you over here. You're going to have to go here for a couple months." I says, "Oh, great! I'm glad I'm so expertise at this stuff that." I have to go to that building, but hey, it's the government, and it's for our troops, so hey, I'll do it. Rodney, how you doing, bud? Thanks for dropping by, guys. Yeah, I'll be able to do weekends because I'm home now, not having to go in on the weekends at all and do anything. That's kind of nice. Ooh, what you getting in the mail today, buddy? Not bad, uh, Rodney. We're doing pretty good.
Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's the way it goes. It's a surprise. Okay. I like surprises. Lucas not. Hello. Looks like this might be your first time here. Let me go ahead and get you all spannered up. Nice blue spanner. Thanks for dropping by. I know. I apologize. I should have tried to get on, but like I said, I came to work one day and boom, that was it. And then uh, had to work weekends, so I just didn't have any access at all. Hey, JNC, welcome back. Yeah, I might be able to jump quite a few uh, after the 20th and up until the 3rd, because on the 20th, we shut down, send all the soldiers home for Christmas. And uh, as long as we don't have work, we don't have to go to work. So that's a, a little bit of a bonus. And then uh, we go back on the 3rd. Oh, Lucas, are you into trains? Cool. I will definitely have to check you out more. Yeah, I've just about got my layout where I want it. I need to get a... Uh, oh, I need to get a reverser because I put it in a reversing loop totally by accident. But once I got it done, I went, hey, I'm leaving that in. But it was totally by accident. So I need to get a... And unfortunately, uh, Digitrax, the people that make the AR-1, they got hit by the hurricane and haven't been answering their, their phones. And we finally got through to them yesterday, and they said they'd have us one by Wednesday. So we're very glad in that. Huh, Lucas, what happened? I thought I gave you a... There it goes. Hopefully it worked that time. Oh, okay. Wow, that's cool. <coughs> the town where I grew up, one of our congressmen years ago, and it was after I came in the Army. <coughs> you have probably heard of... Uh, Steamtown, USA. It's in Scranton, Pennsylvania. And it's an old roundhouse. They have all kinds of engines. And then two or three times a year, they'll take one of the steam engines and put it on the main. And they'll run it about 50 miles up the track. And they go over a huge viaduct in Nicholson, Pennsylvania. Really great scenery and stuff. And then they obviously come back. But every time I've gone, I go when they've already had it or it's not until after I've gone back to Alabama. So one of these years, I'm going to make a special trip. Ooh, Dan's going to have a mail call. Okay, guys, help me out here. I have made Lucas a moderator twice now, and he still doesn't appear in blue. And when I click on the three dots, it still says I have to add him. What is YouTube doing to us? Hmm. This is kind of weird. I'm in live chat. Not that I think that would make a difference. And I'm broadcasting. Huh. That's kind of kind of upsetting. Oh. Don't know if anybody out there likes peach tea, but you can't beat it.
Oh no, JNC. Already up. That means it's going to get noisy. <laughs> Well, that's just purely ridiculous. Kirk, hello. How are you doing, buddy? How's Texas? <coughs> yeah, it is the season to threaten Santa. If you don't do what I tell you, you're going to end up on the naughty list. Oh, yeah. Peach tea is the best. Well, I don't know. Raspberry tea sometimes is pretty good, too. Yeah. That's been my problem, Kirk. And on the days when it's warm enough for me to go outside, it's raining. And then as soon as that rain clears up and the sky clears, boom, the cold comes back. Take care, Rodney. Nice seeing you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's like all over, Dan. It's just the way it is. I'm starting to sound like a farmer. I used to always get upset at the farmers because they either got too much rain or too little rain. They can never make them happy. Well, I either get too much cold or not enough. <laughs> it's like, oh, well. So, be trains for the winter. A little more expensive than drones, believe it or not. But that's because I didn't have any base to build on. <coughs> now I've got enough track to do what I want. So, no more expenditures except on cheap little cars. Yeah, or the wind. Yep. Hey, Mike. No, you're not seeing things. I've got, I've got the weekends off again, so I can do this on the weekends. Got a hell of a paycheck coming, but... No. Iced chocolate milk. Ooh. Thank you, Mike. <coughs> mm. Hey, Sean. Good morning. Not much. Finally got a weekend off. <laughs> Today, I got to go get my ears lowered. It's getting a little shaggy. So when the drone hub wakes up, I'll spend a little time there, but then I got to get out and get some errands done. Nice seeing y'all come in. Really, it is. <laughs> okay, Jane C. Take care of those little angels.
Ooh wee. They changed the DUI limit to 0 0.05. Oh my, I got news for you. It's been 0 0.05 in Alabama for many years. Yeah, it's better than it was when I made the video for the uh, round table from Cato. I don't know what happened. I did reposition it a little bit, so maybe it's not. Maybe pointed at the white walls when I did that video wasn't the right place to point it. Okay, Lucas, thanks for stopping by. I can't believe that. They just showed UPS dropping a package on somebody's porch, walking off, and this big old fat lady comes up, takes the package, and takes it over to her house. <laughs> and she's on she's on her, you know, those little doorbell cameras. She's on camera doing it. So it's not like they're not gonna be able to figure out who took their package. <laughs> oh geez. Hey, has Mars come back? Because I haven't seen any postings. I saw one live feed like last week sometime with him and Cass. I don't know he had been on hiatus for a while. Yeah, I uh, I really lucked out on that one. I have been researching them, and uh, I just happened to run across that one. And I went to the hobby store. I says, I need you to get me one of these. He says, why? I says, he says, there's other ones out there that are cheaper. I says, yeah, but you haven't seen this one in action. I says, let me show you a video. And when he got done, he says, I'll order three of them because he'll sell them pretty quick. But it's the only self-indexing one out there. All the others, you have to manually index where the track stops, whether or not it lines up with the power to the other track and all that stuff. And <laughs> with most of those, I'm not, I know for sure with the Walthers, which is the most expensive one out there. And I think the Atlas and the uh, Bachman do the same. Once you index it, if the power fails, you have to go back and re-index it. This one, it's mechanical indexing. You never have to do anything with it. But yeah, I've been playing with it last night, and I got it to working really well, I think. Hey, Carpenter Rick, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, I haven't had any weekends off, and I'm, well, I like to call it the <laughs> the bunker, but uh, I'm in a fenced-in area where I can't even take a phone or a iPad into the building when I go to work, and that's probably going to last till after the new year. So while I'm at work, I'm cut off from the outside world, unless it's military, because I have access to the military net, but that's it, nothing outside of military. Just a young Padawan. Yes, indeed. Wish I was young. Eh, not really. I wish I could go back to 16, knowing what I know now. That'd be a cool age and then to, to know all that I know. I guess to know what I know, all I had to do was listen to my parents. But how many of us listen to our parents? Yep, there you go, buddy. There you go. I have taken my drone batteries down to storage voltage, Sean. And uh, it won't take me long to charge them up if the weather gets good. But for the past, well, at least three months, every time it gets clear here, it's too cold to fly or too windy. And when the wind and the warm weather come, it brings rain. Yeah, I understand, Mike.
Oh, Lordy. I am going to go down tomorrow, probably. Uh, it rained again yesterday, so the fields are too wet. <laughs> but I'm going to go look for the wizard. I think the leaves may have come off the trees down there. And we had a really good windstorm come through the night before last. <laughs> okay, Philly. No, I haven't forgot about it. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, as a matter of fact, about a week ago, I was down there looking, but the dang oak tree just refuses to lose its leaves. I think that's the one it's in. Because you can see up through most of these southern pines pretty <laughs> pretty good. You should be able to see a purple blade up there, I would think. Yeah, the well, you've got all that snow coming, Sean, so you're really cold when you go fly. It gets down below 50. My hands can't take it anymore. And I'm not going to go fly when my hands are going to lock up like they do. Raining till Monday. Oh, yuck. Hey. If it was snow, you could go out and fly in it. <laughs> no snow, huh? Well, this year, Christmas comes early at our house. My daughter, the married one, has finally fed, fed up with spending all her Christmases at the in-laws. And what we've been doing for the past, let's see, Burton six. So at least the past six years is they have a Christmas Eve party. We exchange a few gifts. Then they have Christmas Day. And... Uh, we get the grandson for like three hours and then he goes back over there to sleep. So this year they're spending Christmas Eve at our house all day and night. And uh, we'll actually do our family exchange then. And then they'll go back to their house and spend Christmas day over there. So we'll see how this one works out. <laughs> that means I get turkey on Christmas Eve. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to make for a good one. We've never had them all day. So we're going to have them all day. And uh, he hasn't seen the trains but one time. And when he saw them, it was just a single loop going around the table. He hasn't seen what I've done with it since I added uh, all this additional track. So hopefully that will work out quite well. And Ray. He just turned six in October. We have three October babies. His is the 18th of October. My daughter's is the 21st, and mine's the 31st. So October's a busy month. Yep, yeah, he just turned six. <laughs> So 
So he gets to start first grade next year. Yeehaw. I couldn't believe one of the things he got for Christmas is something from my generation of being a kid. Rock'em Sock'em Robots. I would have never thought they still made that game. Yeah, it sure is. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, and I he's the only one barking. And what could he possibly be barking at? You know, we live a quarter of a mile off the road. Nobody comes down the drive without me knowing about it. So, and he's in the house, so he can't see outside because he's too short to see through the windows. <laughs> what could he possibly have to bark at? But he's a hoot. Okay, Mike, have a good one. It's actually not a cold, Mike. It's a <laughs> it's actually a physical condition in the back of my throat that my dad had. Every winter it'll come back. And then in the summers it pretty much goes away. But take care, Mike. Nice seeing you. So, Sean, how's the uh, swap shop going? I see you've done quite a few of them, AMs and PMs. Is it going pretty good? Well, good. That's good. I'd imagine it's hard to get trading to take place, bud. I wouldn't feel bad about that. Oh, Paris is burning again today. Woohoo. That's a shame. It's a dirty city, but it was a nice city to visit. A lot of historical things there.
<laughs> does he put a batch on when he does <laughs> does it? Yeah, I think we're going to have a good one. You do the same, Sean. Enjoy that granddaughter. Christmas is all about the kids. Don't ever forget that. <coughs> His pink eye acts up. <laughs> Oh, Lordy. <coughs> well. My goodness, Broderick Crawford in a cowboy movie. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, that's terrible. <laughs> Take care, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> That's one thing I can't see anymore. Only four people still here. Ed and Manic. Lindsay, hi, guy. What's up? <laughs> huh. 
trying to read all this chat. I know I missed some stuff. Got it all. Okay. Yeah, Cam, I think he left. I'm not sure if he's completely gone yet or not. Oh. <laughs> so I bet Roger and Kim have been busy because they haven't they've been filling in for all the slots that uh, Val was using. They must be streaming like nobody's business. I'm almost afraid to set up my usual message because I don't know what YouTube considers uh, spamming. <clears throat> Let me see. Yeah, they, they've got a lot to keep up with. And hell, it hasn't been a month yet, has it? It's only been like two or three weeks, I think, since she got the bad news. Oop, that didn't go where I wanted it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she's done some vids. She's not banned from doing videos. Uh, but she can't do live streams yet. That kind of... I don't know. I'm glad they finally stopped talking. Well, as far as I know, people stopped talking about that. Because that was just a lot of bad blood going on. There was, I don't know. I don't think there was any reason for that crap. Yeah, that's it. She did the apology vid and the purge. Those are the only two I've seen her do since then. Yep, I definitely saw those two. <clears throat> oh man we still got a almost an hour to go that's cool it's been a while yeah i understand wernsey mine's not the best five I mean, i'm streaming on 1.5 mips big guy you know and uh 1.5 mips is nothing uh and i've brought people like dan in to stream at the same time, and it seems to work okay. Uh, I wish I could get it faster, but uh, I'm about ready to give up on CenturyLink. I'm tired of calling them, getting the same story every time. The, the people that work on the device say, I can get the speed, and the people that uh, will order it for you, and they say, no, it's not available. Well, it's Who's telling me the truth? The guy that works on the equipment or the guy that sits there with a computer and signs you up? <laughs> and we appreciate it, man. You know we do. Yeah, got to go see my girlfriend, the barber, today. 
Hope she's working today. That's the only thing I miss about the old house. The old house, granted, it was cable, and I didn't much care for the cable selection that they had, but I had decent internet. Uh, but here, and I'm within a mile of the switch. They ought to be able to pump, pu push that 20 MIPS that I want to my house over the uh, DSL. The guy that services the switch says it should be able to be done. And every time you call the people and try to order, oh, it's not available in your area yet. Okay, whatever. And for eight years, I've been here. Maybe next year. <laughs> Ooh. Yep. I would love to have good internet. That's for sure. <coughs> I'll tell you who has a pretty decent setup. I mean, I know the <clears throat> the captain has probably one of the best setups ever. He plays around with it a lot, has a lot of technical knowledge on how to make it work. But Mel and Lloyd have got it going on too. Their uh, their stuff's pretty cool. I think they're using VMAX. I don't know what the captain uses. But I think Mel and Lloyd are using VMix. Wish I could afford it. I think Lloyd bought the, the less expensive package and only lets him bring in one guest. And I think Mel went the full nine yards where he can bring in up to eight. But that's a pretty impressive program. What you been getting there, Manic? <coughs> this, tickle, this tickle needs to go. <laughs> oh cool yeah i like the mic it's almost two feet over on this side of the room and it still seems to pick up pretty darn good uh, i don't like seeing mics in the video i know a lot of guys like pusa and the captain and whatnot and uh chris they buy those boom mics and put them you don't need to have that this thing seems to be working pretty good for me. I know it's real sensitive, sensitive because if it picks up my dog barking 40 feet down the hall, <laughs> it's pretty sensitive. I don't think I'll invest in a new, new camera, though. I mean, laptop's got a camera and seems to work just fine. Uh, maybe someday. I would like to have a desktop, though. I don't know where I would put it. Actually, I could probably put it on those shelves right there and put the monitor and everything up here on this table. But uh, don't know. So are you going to start broadcasting, Manic? The other guy, I haven't seen anything in a while. Is Spike still out there? Because the last time I saw him, I think he had a new camera and a new mic, and things were going really hot and heavy, and 
I don't think uh, maybe I guess I ought to go check my subscription and make sure I'm still got his bell rung. Ah, yeah, I almost used my gamer headset, but I uh, decided to go the external mic, no headset. I don't, I don't like wearing them, I guess. Ooh, that's a nice camera now. <laughs> Delta Sierra. <laughs> cool, man. Yeah, I almost bought a boom camera off of Amazon. It was relatively inexpensive. And then I happened to go into the PX one day and they had this Nessie by Blue. And I knew Blue speak or Blue mics were really good. No habla espanol. That's not bad, Manic. That's pretty good. Is that Australian? That's still not bad. 85. Yep, that's really good. Yeah, I think that's what I looked into it, like I said, a while back. And I think that's right around what I was going to have to pay, 45 to 50 bucks or so. And then I, I found this thing in the PX on an extremely good buy. So I went with it, and both my laptops have decent cameras, so I'll just stick with those. It would be different if I was doing them all from the same location all the time. Uh, then I might think about setting up a studio to do one, but... Right now, I don't know where I'm going to be when I do one, so. Okay, cool. <laughs> I guess Aldo didn't want to stick around and try to speak English. <laughs> uh, 
you guys using uh, Google Hangouts? Because that's an easy way to bring people into a live feed and whatnot. Heck, I'll bring you in here, Manic, if you want to come in. If I can remember how to do it. <laughs> I think we've only got like three or four people in here right now, though. Yeah, I looked into OBS and I've looked into vMix and uh, I'll just stick with Google Hangouts. I don't need all that fancy crap. I mean, it's nice. But for right now, I don't do it enough to justify and I know most of it's free, but they, they give you the free version and they go, oh, yeah, by the way, you can only do this with this one. And if you want to do this, you have to pay this. So I've got them both installed. And I, I was messing around with vMix the other day a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I'd have to get lessons from guys like Mel or Lloyd in order to get good at it. Okay, I'll try to remember that. <coughs> what I would probably have to, <coughs> to do is watch somebody show me how to do it on my iPad while I'm doing it on my laptop. Because if all I do is watch it when I go back and try to do it, I can't remember all the things they did or what all the buttons did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, cool. So Roger's going to go high tech. That ought to be interesting. Roger's like me. I know a little bit about a lot of things. But the things I know a lot about don't have nothing to do with computers and broadcasting and stuff. Yeah, I tried OBS, and uh, I kept getting too much dead space in my broadcast because of my bandwidth. But Google Hangouts seems to work just fine. I don't understand why, you know. And I tuned down the OBS to where they, the book told me, or the instructions told me to put it, and it still had the same problem. I was getting too much breakup. And I don't think this one breaks up. I don't know. Nobody's ever told me if it does. I just keep it simple because I'm stupid. That works. So much for that bottle. That's going to bring Henry running. He loves to play with these things after I squish them. There he is. There's my Henry. You want this? You got to come up here and get it. It's right there. There you go. Come get it. It's right here. <laughs> he's afraid I'm going to grab him. That's it. Kiss. The kiss principle. Works real good. Lasts a long time. Come on. Right here. Come get it. Come on. Right there. Come on. Come get it. 
<laughs> I, you fell for it. Here he is again, guys. I caught him. I'll give him his toy after he gives me some hugs. Here you go, squishy Henry hug. Yeah, you're a good boy. Yes, you are. Mama gave him a bath yesterday. He's so nice and white and fluffy and smooth. Here you go. See, he wants it. Here you go. Come get it. Come on. You can have it. You don't want to be on film? Huh? You don't want to be on the film? Who's that? Who's that, Henry? Here. He's happy now. He got him a toy to crunch. Go ahead, buddy. It's yours. <laughs> what a character. Hey, Mel, good morning. We were just talking about how wonderful you run VMix. To be honest, I'm glad you told me that was VMix the other day because I thought you were inside a nice Tennessee log cabin and had hung a big screen to put Lloyd on, on the wall. So I'm, I'm glad you finally said that you were green screening or whatever with VMix. <laughs> but that was cool. Yeah, it's the one I missed. I think I got in there and I watched your feed. It was the one where you did, uh, oh, what, what did you call it? Broadcasting from home or live feed from home. And I thought you were actually sitting inside a log cabin somewhere with a big screen hanging on the wall. <laughs> Hope I didn't miss anything in the chat. <laughs> oh, so Google Hangouts is going away? Well, I guess I won't be live streaming in 2019 then. Yeah, I know that's what we were supposed to think. I thought it was pretty cool. It looked great. It really did. Well, I hope they do. I'm just glad I haven't lost anybody in the purge. I could always get the you or Lloyd to give me lessons on vmix what's around robin are you talking about the turntable? Richard and Janet, hello, good morning. <coughs> Not sure what the round robin is. You talking about are you talking about the Cato turntable? Well, thank you, guys. Yeah, uh, 
it took about five minutes to hook up all the power to it. And then about another 10 or 15 minutes to decide how to run the tracks to come off of it. And after I get some errands done today, I'm going to do a video of the entire layout and key in on the turntable probably. But it works fantastic. That that self-indexing feature is phenomenal. No no playing around with fine tuning or nothing. It basically has two motors. One motor runs a little indexing rod that it would, as soon as you tell it to move, it pulls the rod back. And then the second motor turns it. And then when you tell it to stop turning, <coughs> the, the next index that it passes, the indexing motor pushes out that rod and turns off the turntable. It's so easy. It's pathetic. I mean, it's so easy. Even I could do it. And no cussing. My wife won't believe that when she comes home. But if she'd have been here, she could attest to it. Yeah, I'll get a... Matter of fact, I've got, a, I've got an engine I have to unveil. Matter of fact, I've got two engines I have to unveil. <laughs> Uh, only one of them fits on the turntable, though, because one of the engines has a, has a B unit. And the turntable is not big enough to hold an A and a B unit. Oh, is Jaeger getting a shirt or somebody else? Yeah, I kind of sort of do, Manic. Everyone's in a great while. And then I then I gotta ask forgiveness real quick. Yep, Henry didn't stay around long. He got his bottle and he left. <laughs> Nope, somebody else in Scotland. I can't think of anybody else I know in Scotland. Yes, I do believe he does. I never very much use his name, but I use some words that probably aren't real nice words. You know, and that's kind of funny. In Seer School, which is Survival of Evasion and escape they teach us that if we are ever gone so long that we don't know the current passwords and whatnot or if we don't remember what we put down on our card for our, our uh, identification word or whatever our nickname whatever you want to call it just start cussing like an american and they says if you start cussing we'll understand you're american at least and we won't shoot you because nobody puts the words together like an american <laughs> i always thought that was kind of funny Oh, they're still going to put a bag over your head, and they're still going to tie tie you with a set of ties and put you in the aircraft and bring you back. But, hey, it beats being stuck behind the lines. Hey, Michael, welcome. Now, this didn't work earlier. <coughs> Let me see if it works this time or not. Anyway, welcome to the stream, Michael. Ooh, I got to keep an eye on him. <laughs> Watch. You got about 25 minutes, and the hub should be up and running. I'm anxious to see if they made any improvements. Yeah, I got away from using his name, Manic, a long time ago. Took me a little bit of practice. But, yeah. Oh, commercials. I hate commercials.
Mel, did you get hit by the purge yet or at all? I hear everybody talking about it. I know drone worship lost about four or five hundred people and he's back below eight thousand. He's not a happy camper. <laughs> oh, Lord. Didn't lose any? Well, that's good. I haven't lost any, as far as I know. I'm still at 547. I think that's where I was the last time I checked. You went up, Manic? All right. Maybe you got some of the ones other people lost. <laughs> well, that's good. I think the only people that are going to lose some are the people that have a lot of dead channels on their subscribers or... Possibly, you know, maybe they've got some people that actually bought their subscriptions or subscribers or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how you do that. Wouldn't ever try to do it. Only four to get 200. Oh, boy. I don't have Dick James anymore. So. I might have him at work, but I think he's already subscribed. He actually made a post not too long ago. Well, they must be behind on flight time. They're flying on the weekend. Unfortunately, I do, Mel. It's what the computer came with. I don't much like it. Yeah, that's the problem coming in here, Richard, because the only people that come here are people that have already been in the hub and places like that. Passion for hunting and fishing. Hello, how are you doing? That's got to be a test flight. He just came out, circled the house, and headed straight back in. Training aircraft don't do that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I won't be able to get on from work probably until after the first of the year, if not a little longer. And I have been working on Saturdays and Sundays. And... <laughs> Therefore, I can't get on because I can't be home. And I do appreciate all the folks that checked on me. Each day, I've been able to get on right after, right around lunchtime, but I do have to eat lunch. So I only get 40 minutes. I checked out the occasional video. I can't do much more. <laughs> Good luck, Mel. I have tried every which way but loose to turn that sucker off, and I cannot find that that switch anywhere, man. It and uh, what's really bad is when you first start your computer and you first log in to YouTube, or actually not even to YouTube. When you first start your computer, all those notifications that came up in YouTube. Now the one thing you can do 
when that first one pops up, you can go down to the bottom right-hand corner, click on notifications, and say, get rid of them all. And they'll all disappear, and it won't keep doing it. But that's the only way I know how to get rid of them. I know of no way to turn them off. Hello, Roger. Yeah, it's nice to be back, bud. Uh, still can't get on at work, but I've got the weekends off now, so I can get on Saturdays and Sundays. <laughs> A little birdie told me you're fixing to go high tech there, Roger, with uh, broadcasting software and stuff. That sounds like fun. Yeah, I don't know of any way to turn it off, Mel. If I ever run into one, <laughs> I'll gladly tell you. But I have tried and tried and tried. It's it's not like on a iPad where you can go in and say, hey. Turn off notifications. I know of no switch in Windows that'll let you do that. How did it just stop it, Manic? That's what we want to know. Because I don't care if they come up on the computer. When I go into YouTube, it tells me how many I have and whatnot. I don't need to see them pop up all the time. I mean, my AOL notifications pop up when I get an email. Somebody posts a video, it pops up and tells me they posted a video. And in the middle of a live stream, it just keeps going off. It's kind of perturbing. Oh. Here's something that says... <coughs> see see fewer uh, I'll try that later I just hit the little notification guy and it had something on that said see fewer notifications I wonder if that'll do it well, see I didn't I can't find that I'm gonna have to find it I'm gonna have to find that switch I'm afraid to go to settings right now. I'll do it when I sign off before I go to the hub for a few minutes. So you put Windows 7 back on your new computer, Roger? Good for you. Gary, hello. Did you change your name? Hey, James, how you doing, buddy? How's the guitars doing? You got any more guitars? Oh, cool. Ah. Well, good, Gary. Looks good. I hope it's coming along for you. Well, that's good to hear, James. Well, cool. You get to sit in all the new cars. <laughs> you just turned off that whole... Cool, so it's under settings? I'm going to have to go find it. after the stream because i don't i mean 
when you go to AOL, it'll show you how much mail you got. And when you go to YouTube, it'll show you the notifications you got there. I don't need to be reminded every time something pops up. And every time something pops up on the uh, members of the, oh, what's that thing we've got? Uh, can't remember the name of it. Uh, so anytime any member of the hub posts a video, I get two notifications. Yeah, that'll make it easier to find you, buddy. That's for sure. That'll increase your members, I would hope. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big fan of Windows 10, but hey, it's what comes on all of them nowadays. Oh, baby. Yeah, I wish I had a 2019 Ram. I like those. They're sweet. Net Dragon DJ. Howdy, buddy. Yeah, Discord. Discord is the thing I couldn't remember. But every time somebody from the Discord posts a YouTube or whatever, I get a Discord notification. I get a YouTube notification. <laughs> like, oh, man, I don't need all this. Uh. Yeah, but it's good to have a job, Net Dragon. Life gets kind of boring when it isn't busy. That's for sure. That's why I still work. I could have retired two years ago. <laughs> yeah, Betty. Make sure you got lots of wood when that snow finally comes. Dang, James. You slept in. I got up at five. <laughs> <coughs> no time for work, huh, Gary? That's cool. <laughs> hey, you missed it, DJ. Uh, Henry was here a little while ago. Lloyd, good morning. How you doing, buddy? Thanks for stopping by. Like, almost want to sing Hail, Hail, the gang's all here. How's my favorite grump doing doing today? <laughs> Go 
<laughs> You'll stay with six. Good idea. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, I wish I could sleep in like that. Oh, Roger, you hit a deer. Did it taste good? I'll tell you what, I hit a deer. He's going home with me. Beyond Trees, hello. Hope all's well with you, my friend. Yeah, I've been locked away. Uh, been drug in on the weekends to work and been working in a place where the only internet I have is military internet. And that's not really internet. It's just a system. And not allowed to take a phone in, not allowed to take a iPad in. But got weekends off now. <laughs> Sleep until two. <laughs> yeah, but if I know you, Lloyd, you sleep till two because you stay up till three. I'm doing fine, Beyond. I've got my winter, winter tickle is what I call it. It's a, oh, it's an actual hereditary thing, I guess, because my dad had it. So, Roger, how's the uh, fur ball doing? Yeah, it's a adenoid problem. Let's put it that way. And it goes someplace it's not supposed to go. The drainage does. And it gets worse in the winter. Oh, man. Well, then you couldn't have too much damage, Roger. I hope. Good. I'm glad he's doing good. <laughs> he's furballing. <laughs> good one. <laughs> okay, Lloyd. <laughs> hey, you're dang retired, right? You can do whatever you want. Okay, Roger. We'll see you all in a little bit. We got about four minutes or so, I think.
And then uh, I'll stop in for a little bit, but I've got errands to run today. So I'll do what I usually do. I'll, since I'm home, I'll log in, drop your like, and let this thing run while I go do my errands. I'm assuming view time still works. Yeah, I'm going to try. Uh, I don't see any reason I can't be because church isn't until, what, 11 o'clock in the morning. So I'll probably be up around. Might not be on at 6. It might be 6.30, but I'll try and get on by 6. But, yeah, I'll be on tomorrow morning. Yeah, hopefully I'll be back for the weekends. I told Sean he can have the weekdays. And plus, I'm still going to be in the bunker till after January. Pretty sure of that. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> okay. I'll try not to disappoint. Well, he only lost five. That's not bad if that was the purge. I don't know that I've lost any because I never broke 550. I was at 543 the other day, so I think I'm still up around that. I understand, Manic. But I promised him I wouldn't come on when he was on, and he's got that early morning slot for his swap shop now. There you go, Lloyd. Yeah, Mel was telling me that earlier that you actually picked up three. <laughs> that, that's pretty good. Okay, guys, let me see something here real quick. Yeah, by my watch, I've got 8 o'clock. I really am glad to see you all again. Glad to see you all came in. I know it's been a while. I'll try to keep these things up on the weekends now. Uh, matter of fact, during Christmas, since I won't be at work after the 20th, I might even be able to get out in the mornings then or in the afternoons or something like that. Uh, but anyway, we'll see you all over at the Hub with Roger and Kim here in just a little bit. But thanks again. God bless. Y'all have a great weekend. Take care. Star Cop out.